Hey, it's Morgana Hilra. I was gonna wait to do a video, but like until I felt better. Unfortunately, recent events have caused me to decide to make more of a gripe or public service announcement or something like that. So there's your warning right there. This is a gripe video, and if you don't want to listen, then I suggest you move on. <laughs> I will be blogging this um, couch in my outfit, but I wanted to say, um, as you all know, I have rules about adding people in Second Life. I pretty much don't like doing it, okay? And the reason is, is most of the time people don't message me unless they want something from me. Not all the time. I would say about 70 to 80% of the time, okay? And this person that has inspired this video is actually one of those people, okay? As you all know, I've been having a hard time in real life lately. And it's not gotten better, it's gotten worse. And, you know, I've been scared and stressed and upset and worried and Last night, I logged on at 1 o'clock in the morning, my time. Figured, you know, most of the people I know are offline. I just want to have some time on my own. And the majority of the people I know, if they had messaged me and I said, you know, I'm just kind of taking some me time, then they would have understood. However, this person who was a random ad, who was actually a uh, YouTube watcher, like a YouTube subscriber, um... She added me, and I was like, you know, okay, sure, I'll add her, you know, it's not a problem. Back then, back then, we were getting along. So last night, now, this has happened several times with her, okay? This was not a one-time incident. This has happened several times. However, it's the first time that it's gotten to this point. Uh, she messages me asking me why I'm up so late. So I tell her, you know, this is the only time I can have time to myself. Just to me, like only me. So I said, it's the only time I can have some time to myself where I'm not being pulled around all over the place. And um, she starts talking to me and I said, you know, hon, I'm sorry. I'm really not feeling good. I just want to be like left alone. I just want some time to myself. She continues to message over and over. Like I counted like three messages after I asked her that. So I said again. You know, I am sorry that you're having a hard time, but can we talk about it maybe tomorrow? I really need to have some time on my own. I don't really want to be messaging anybody. I don't want to be chatting with anyone. I just want to be able to shop, blog, go, you know, maybe explore SL. And um, she says, I'm sorry for making you mad. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry for making you mad. Um, I'm like, no, that's not what I said. All I said was I just want some time on my own. I'm sorry if that sounds rude, but it's I need some time on my own. I've had some stressful time in real life. You know, I can't handle it right now, right? I just need a break. To which she starts telling me about her mother. I already knew about her mom, okay? But I said, you know, I understand that you're going through stuff in real life too, but Please, can we talk about it tomorrow? I just want some time on my own. How many times have you guys counted that I said, I just want some time on my own? You know, by myself, alone, not talking to people? She would not take a very, very blatant um, hint. I wouldn't even call it a hint. I flat out told her that I just wanted some time on my own. That's it. That's it. All. I didn't hint around to it. I just flat out said. She kept on going on, and then she accused me of talking to her like she was nothing and that her sick mother does it too. And I'm like, I was so tempted to say, look, I'm not your mother, you know, but I didn't. I was tempted to be extremely rude, but I wasn't. <laughs> Even now, I'm tempted to basically call her out on her shit, but, you know, I just. I just said, you know, okay, look, I'm not going to answer any more IMs. I'm done with this. I'm sorry if it sounds rude, but I told you multiple times I wanted some time on my own. And she was just, she flipped out on me. And I said, okay, you know what? I don't think our friendship's going to work. I wish nothing but the best for you. I hope you have a great SL, but this friendship's not going to work, okay? Now, the reason I said this is because she constantly messages me only to basically say hi that's it 
that's all she says. And then, you know, 20 minutes later, she'll say something else, but it's never, there's no substance to it. It's, it's, she doesn't want to hang out. She doesn't want me to take, you know, she doesn't want to hang out with me. She doesn't want to, um, talk to me about events or anything like that. Like not events, but you know, normal things that you talk to people about. She just says, hi. And then, you know, forever later, you get a response from her after you've already talked to her, you know? It's, it's hard to explain. She only messaged me when she wanted me to go to her store. She only messaged me when um, she needed something from me. And it was just like, if I told her I was busy, she just didn't stop. She just always kept on going on. So this time, I just, I had enough, okay? I did. And I removed her and I explained to her, you know, it's not going to work because you don't respect my boundaries. And, you know, I was getting frustrated and I can't have that. I came on SL to relax and enjoy myself. I didn't come on SL to be badgered and, you know, made to feel bad. So I said, you know, I don't appreciate the fact that you did ruin my evening, you know, because I came on here to rest and have some time to myself. But, you know, I don't wish anything. I don't wish any malice. You know, I don't wish anything bad for you. I just hope that you have a great SL and maybe one day we'll talk. And I removed her. I did not mute her. Okay. In the morning, I log on to check my emails and I have this offline message from her telling me how I used to be awesome. And now I just treat people like I'm a bitch. Not once did I say anything nasty to her. Not once did I say anything derogatory. And that is what I woke up to. She informed me that she unsubscribed from me. Fine, that's her prerogative. For me telling her that I didn't think our friendship was going to work and that, you know, I hope she has a great SL. She belittles me and then tells me, oh, and you ruined my night also. I went to bed crying. Well, Okay, why'd you go to bed crying? It wasn't my fault because all I did was ask you to leave me alone for the evening and that I'd talk to you in the morning. So, okay then. I feel bad that she feels bad, but at the same time, I'm angry as hell at her because the only time that I get to myself is late at night. You know, my kids come first in real life, all right? My children are everything to me and some of you out there have no idea how far I would go for my children okay so when my kids are off, off at school or you know sleeping I'm usually blogging for you guys okay for me but for you guys as well and the one time that this whole like the last three months that I log on just for me she wouldn't leave me alone. I think I was well within my limits or my rights to ask her to leave me alone. And when she wouldn't, after several, several attempts at asking her and telling her flat out, then, you know, if she couldn't respect that. I had, I was, a, it was in my right to say, look, our friendship isn't going to work. Not if you treat me like that. <sighs> I've done my best to try to get along with this person. I even waited three hours for her the other day to go to her store. She doesn't have it in her profile, which is kind of bizarre. And she basically left me hanging. She could have said, hey, look, I have an emergency. I got to go. Or when she came back, she could have said, hey, I had an emergency. I had to go. You know, she didn't say anything. She didn't tell me anything until last night, basically. So I removed her. That's it. You know, there's nowhere around going back and forth, right? I'm not going to re-add her. Oh, God, I'm not going to re-add her, especially after that lovely offline. So a lot of you are probably thinking that I messaged her back. No, I didn't. I logged on and I muted her. She's blocked. She'll never come off that list, okay? Like, I have a block list and... You know, I have people on it that sometimes I'll just put them on it temporarily just until, you know, I calm down. But no, not when I wake up to a message like that. I would like to say to that mystery lady, that was highly immature. Okay? You're an adult. You're not a little six-year-old. You're not a little 14-year-old. 
You're an adult. All right. Start acting like one. If somebody says, please leave me alone for, you know, a few hours or for the night, just leave them alone. Don't pester them. Don't start comparing notes with them. Just say, okay, I respect your request and move on. Don't wake up in the morning and say, oh, she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. She's a bitch. Please. I'm not a bitch. I can be. Everybody can be. When you disrespect them, then yeah, you push their limits, then yeah, they're going to freak out on you. They're going to leave. <sighs> anyway, that's all I wanted to share was the fact that, you know, I've had some stressful times and I've been trying my hardest to keep it all inside me. Last night, I just really wanted to rest and have fun, you know, do something that I like to do in Second Life. And it ended up being that I ended up logging out because of this person. I wanted to get away from them that badly that I just logged out. It was like, yeah, goodbye. And that's not fair. The fact that I felt that it was necessary for me to leave because she was stressing me out. In the end, um, because of her, because of this incident, I'm going to be even more selective with the people that I add in Second Life. <laughs> I thought I was, I was kind of anal retentive when it came to adding people before. Yeah, well, it's going to get a lot worse because this was unfair. I didn't deserve this. I didn't deserve what she said to me this morning. I, I'm flabbergasted, actually. A woman who doesn't talk to me unless she wants something from me tells me that I'm treating people like a bitch. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to head out. I'm going to blog my outfit. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. I'm probably going to go on WoW or something so I can take out my aggressions on uh, an a animated character instead of a person. <laughs> and I'm going to have a good day. But for her, I'm sure she's going to be stressed out and upset and thinking that the whole world is against her. But you know what? It's not. The whole world is not against you. I'm not even against you. I'm pissed off that you would say something like that to me this morning, but whatever. It's your prerogative. I wish nothing but the best for that person. And I'm very much biting my tongue and saying something nasty, but I'm not going to. And I'm not going to name the person because I'm not going to give them their five seconds of fame. All I'm saying is that, yes, you affected me, and not in the positive way. I would like to say a couple names that have affected me in the positive. Okay, so we're going to go with new friends and old friends. First up, a YouTube watcher, oh, YouTube watcher, a YouTube subscriber named Dead Cell. We've added each other, and that friendship has been positive. So that, that has had a positive impact on my life. So thank you for that. Kaylin, she is an old friend of mine, and she's still a friend of mine. We've been friends for years, and she is well aware of my mood disorder. She's well aware of my bipolar, and she's still my friend. We've had arguments. We've had disagreements, but we're still friends. And for a new friend, her wife, or wifey, that's what she calls her, her wifey. I believe her name is Rai or Ray. Is it Rai or Ray? I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not good with names. <clears throat> now, I made friends with her before I knew who she was. Remember this, okay? We were getting along so great at the um, Halloween event that I added her. You know, it was great. She's really awesome. And that was another positive experience. Now, this is just a re this just shows you that I don't add people because of what they do. Okay, I didn't know who she was. This was her alt. Turns out it's Wet Cat, and that's an awesome store. You guys should check it out. I'll even link it in my in my blog post. But she is an awesome person, and I should really make more of an effort to talk to her more often. I'm just shy, and I'm very very what's the word? Um, trigger shy. Or something like that. When you're too afraid to talk to people. I'm afraid of rejection. Are you kidding me? I know this. I'm not stupid. 
but she has been a positive experience as well. So to those three names, thank you for being positive influences in my recent friendships and my old friendships. There's more people, but I can't name all of them. Seriously, it wouldn't fit. But thank you to those three for the most recent positive experiences in my life. And those positive experiences outweigh the negative last night. So thank you to those three people. And I'm going to go now because, you know, I've wasted too much energy on this mystery person. I'm not going to name her. I'm just going to wish her well and hope that she finds what she's looking for in Second Life. And to everybody else, thanks for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, please do. And um, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm going to go on now. I want to show a close-up of this face real quick. Let's see if I can actually get a close-up of this face. Whee! Hello! <sighs> Isn't it pretty from what you can see? Ah, there it goes. All right, so I'm going to log out and um, render this video, watch some TV, make some lunch, you know, enjoy the rest of my afternoon, hopefully. <laughs> <clears throat> and for everybody else, please check out my social media. Be engaging. Chat with me sometimes, you know. Um, communicate. Get to know me. Don't just randomly add me in SL. Please. I want to avoid issues like last night. And I will talk to you guys later. See you in the next vlog or video post or whatever you call it on here. I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, bye.